Welcome to the Bellows Accordion Menu WordPress plugin. This quick start video is intended to get you up and running quickly with an overview of the plugin essentials. We'll go into more depth with the features in the knowledge base and other video tutorials, so if you have any questions, just visit the knowledge base for more specific articles and tutorials. Everything is indexed and searchable. Relevant links will be provided along the way in this video if you need more information. First, let's do a super quick run through for those who already have everything set up and just want to add their menu. Then we'll go back through step by step afterwards. After you install the plugin, go to Appearance Menus to create your menu. Once you have your menu created, go to Appearance Bellows Menu. Click on the Main Configuration tab and go to the Integration section. Select your desired menu in the drop-down, and the shortcode will be generated for you. Copy this shortcode and paste it wherever you like. Alternatively, add the menu via a widget by visiting Appearance Widgets. Add the Bellows Accordion Standard Menu to your desired widget area. Select your configuration and your menu, and save the widget. And you can see the result on the front end of your site. Okay, now let's run through everything step by step. Step one is to install and activate the plugin. To begin installation, we'll log into our WordPress admin and visit Plugins Add New. If you're using the light version of Bellows, you'll simply search for the plugin by name. You'll find Bellows Accordion menu, click Install Now, wait for the installation process to finish, then click Activate. For pro users, you'll still go to Plugins Add New, except you'll click Upload Plugin. You'll then download the zip file that was sent to you in the confirmation email and upload that zip file to WordPress. Then click Install Now. Once the installation is complete, com click Activate Plugin. If you're upgrading and already have Bellows Lite installed, the Lite version should be deactivated automatically. If not, make sure you deactivate it in the Plugins panel. Your settings will be inherited by the Pro version automatically to make the transition seamless. Step 2 is to create your menu. In your WordPress admin, navigate to Appearance Menus. You can create and organize your menu just like with any WordPress menu. If you have an existing menu that you want to use for Bellows, you can skip this step. If you don't have a menu yet, you can create one by clicking Create New Menu. Give it a name, and hit Create Menu. You can then add menu items from the left sidebar to generate your menu content. If you're not sure how to use the WordPress menu screen, check out the linked knowledge base article on how to create a menu. You can choose content from your site listed on the left to add items to your menu. So we're going to add all these items as an example. Top level items will be visible at all times, and their child items, which are created by indenting below their parents, will be revealed when the parents submenu is toggled open. We'll just organize these quickly into a hierarchy. You might notice the Bellows button appear when you hover over menu items. This button reveals extra settings available to Bellows Pro users, which allow you to modify the functionality and style of the individual menu items. We'll come back to this in a bit. Once you have your menu items added to your menu and organized the way you want, click Save Menu to save your changes. Step 3 is to configure the accordion menu settings. Navigate to Appearance Bellows Menu to bring up the Bellows control panel. Each menu has a group of settings, known as a configuration, that is applied to the accordion menu. 
By default, you'll have one configuration available, called the main configuration. Pro users can create multiple configurations, which allows you to configure the settings for different menus independently, for example, to have one red menu and one blue menu. In the configuration settings, you can set menu specific options, such as the skin, whether one or more submenus can be visible at a time, and whether the current submenu should be shown by default. Pro users have more advanced options available here and in the customizer as well, including the ability to customize the toggle icons, as well as a variety of colors and sizes to customize the look and feel of the menu. In addition to the configuration settings, there are general settings for the plugin, where you can add custom CSS and control the loading of the plugin assets. Step four is to insert the menu into your site. This can be done via a shortcode, widget, or PHP snippet. To generate the shortcode or PHP snippet, go to your configuration tab and go to the integration section. Select the menu you wish to use. We'll use my special menu, which we just created, and the proper shortcode for that configuration is generated for you. Click to copy this shortcode. Now open the post in which you wish to place the accordion menu. Paste the shortcode inside the post content. The menu is designed to respond to the size of its container, so generally you would place the menu inside a column within your theme's grid system. Otherwise, you can optionally set an explicit width in the control panel, though it's more flexible to use a grid system. Here's the result of adding the accordion menu to this page. Alternatively, you can add the menu via a widget, which would be the most common way to add the menu to a sidebar. Visit your Appearance Widgets screen, find the Bellows Accordion Standard Menu widget, and drag it into your desired widget area. In the widget settings, set the configuration and the menu that you'd like to use for this accordion. Save your settings and the menu will appear in your sidebar. Step five, which is optional, is to configure your individual menu item settings. This is a feature available to pro users. In the appearance menus screen, Hover over the menu item you'd like to edit and click the Bellows button. In the Bellows item settings panel, you can do things like set an icon or change the style of an individual item. Finally, pro users can further customize their menu's styles and functionality by going to Appearance, Customize. This will load up the WordPress customizer. In the Bellows settings, you can change both general settings, for example, trying out different skins, or deciding whether you can have single expansion or multiple expansion for submenus. And you can even change individual colors, for example, the background of the top level of the menu, or the current menu item. As well as the submenus. And you can create something really hideous like this. Pro users have a variety of other features to explore, including the code generator tab in the Bellows control panel. 
This tab lets you test and preview your menus, as well as auto-populate menus based on post or taxonomy term hierarchies from your site. Using this tool is detailed in the knowledge base, and we'll cover it in more depth in a future video tutorial as well. And that's it. Now you have a good overview of how to use the Bellows Accordion plugin. I hope you enjoy it.